Welcome to Metal Vice and 666. I'm your host, Brian, joining me with the other host, Karen. And for this episode, we are going to be talking about our Record Store Day Black Friday 2024 um, selections, basically what we picked up this year at Record Store Day. Yes. Uh, we did one already on sort of the list when it was released. Yeah. Uh, what we were, like, were anticipating, what we wanted to look at. Um, they got windled down a little bit between what we were going to pick up and then obviously what we actually got at the store based on when we were in line. Uh, so we're just going to go over what we picked up. Uh, one that we did want, or you wanted, that we didn't get was that country sort of Christmas album. Yeah, but that one was like removed from the list, or we couldn't find it from the list after we went back. Yeah, they do that from time to time. I think one year they removed uh, Shadows Fall from like the spring list, but then added it to the Black Friday list. Oh, okay. So it might be there next year or next spring, but I would That'd be weird on spring, though, because it's like a so. Christmas thing. But so maybe next year for Black Friday it will be on there, but or they'll just release it in general, but... um. So we definitely didn't get that one, but here's the the few we did end up getting. Um, the first one, like we said, number one on our list was the Slam of God, live in Richmond, uh, Ashes of the Wake. Uh, I'm glad I got it. However, I'm not, I didn't like this album that much. Okay. Because um, it's live, but there's no audience. There's oh, no right, crowd right. interaction. Yeah, I was going to make that comment too, that you can't hear any. Yeah. Like it's basically just the recorded songs yeah. that they played live, but there's no cheering, there's no the little banter between the songs or anything like that. Yeah, even like a, um, now you have something to die for. Like, I don't hear the crowd singing at all. And it's like, what the fuck? This is, I want to hear the crowd. That's why I got the live album. I have this on. I got the 20th anniversary of this, this year when they released it. What the fuck? And so uh, that was a little disappointing with this is it's, sure, it's really cool. But I mean, yeah, it's live in Richmond. They're back home. So I wanted Randy to be up there like, hey, we're back in Richmond, motherfucking Virginia. Let's, yeah. Let's, I was going to say, they so kind of forgot a word. Yeah. They forgot MF there before yeah. Virginia. So, I mean, <laughs> it it was a little disappointing when I listened to it and be like, there's no fucking crowd sound at all. No cheering, no nothing. So, I don't like that aspect of this album. It's three sides, two discs uh, with an etching of sort of the, the hawk thing, the bird, the chicken thing or whatever the fuck they call it, um, coming down with like the, the needles. Um, so, I mean, it, it's, it is kind of cool. I'm kind of glad we got it, but this is one I, if I can go back, I'd probably pass on it and just pick it up down the road type thing. Yeah. Next was Sun O Black One um, Deluxe Edition. This came with a poster as well, 18 by 24 poster, um, two discs as well on this sort of like this blue, this kind of like sea blue sort of coloring. Um, I actually really, really fucking enjoyed this album a lot. Very airy and sort of. Um, melodic sounding to yeah, it yeah i haven't really so we found you found out about sun o during milwaukee metal fest last year i believe this year yeah yeah this year yeah sorry, yeah. sorry. the last one that they had yep, so yep. at 2024 uh we were just outside talking to a guy because they have some tables set up and we were like just sharing a table while we probably got some food i don't remember but whatever it doesn't really matter but um he mentioned sun o and then you started listening to him um, I think this is the first time, though, I had listened to them. Oh, is it? Okay. Uh, you probably have played a couple songs or whatever. But I mean, like, I've listened to them, I know for sure. I don't know if I've played them for you. Yeah, it's, that's what I'm thinking. Like, yeah. even if you did play maybe, like, one or two songs, like, this is the first time I've listened to all of it. And I really, really enjoy it. I think it would be definitely something to put on when you're, like, trying to relax or, you know, just, like... Um, yeah, and that's what that guy said. He's like, this is something I'll, I'll fall asleep to. It's oh, yeah, something I that, like, I can just zone out and just sort of mellow out to. Um <clears throat> Uh, not a whole lot of vocals to it, and the vocals that are there sort of... I, I It reminds me a lot of that tribal metal yeah. you've got. Yeah. The vocals to that sort of fit in yeah. really well with like this. Like throaty. Very throaty, yeah. yeah. Um, and I don't know, I, I loved it a lot. I've listened to them a few times. I think it's great for like that background noise and just sort of zoning out, like you were saying. Very, you know, dark and doomy sort of sound to it. I think this is great for Halloween. This is going to be in the Halloween oh, rotation okay. for yeah. me. Um, I can see that. So I don't know. I, I was super happy to get this. I was excited to get this. And when we listened to it, I was like, holy shit, this is, this is probably my favorite one of them all that we that we picked up for yeah. sure. Next, we have the Ramones' greatest hits. Um, during that list episode that we, we had mentioned earlier, this was definitely on the list of things that we were interested in looking at possibly picking up. Um, we did pick it up. We listened to it. What were your thoughts? So I don't think neither one of us are like super big Ramones fans going into it. But yeah. after listening to it, what were your thoughts? Uh, I honestly can't pick out when we listen to this. I know we listened to all of them, but nothing stood out to me. Yeah, I mean, they have the few songs, right? Like uh, Blitzkrieg Bop. Um, yeah. And then what was the one on the back? 
oh, I want to be sedated. Like those are the two main songs I know of theirs and I yeah. really enjoy. So um It was just like, oh, we have a record on. Yeah. For me, anyways. It wasn't I mean, yeah, I'm not I don't know Ramon's music and I'm not into them. Um, but it's not something that I would probably listen to again. But having the greatest hits is we talked about a couple of times like getting greatest hits just because then it is the more popular songs versus yeah. you know buying their whole collection right, or their exactly. whole catalog i'm glad we have it there's a few songs on her i like but a lot of it i'm not super impressed with not it's not that i'm impressed with it it's just stuff that i'm not super into like you were saying yeah um i will say the condition of our vinyl is kind of shitty the last um couple tracks there's a big scratch in the actual oh, vinyl so yeah. it skips yeah. Which is that happens though? Yeah, it happens. What are you going to do about it? So that does suck. But it is this red cool vinyl as well. Um, At least it probably didn't cost as much as our Rolling Stones that has this. Yeah, exactly. On it. <laughs> um, so whatever. Um, we got it. it it's fine. Um, if I can go back, I'd probably skip that one honestly. Just like this next one, possibly. <laughs> um, Van Halen live in Dallas, 1991. This was a free show in Dallas that they put on back in '91. Um, Again, Van Halen, not a super big fan of, No, personally. Uh, yeah, I mean, I know a couple songs or heard a couple songs, but other than that, I don't really, I, I never li- I've never went like, oh, let me listen to Van Halen today. I, I like probably their first album, and that's about it. Other than that, I don't go super deep in their catalog. I know a little bit of the history of them and whatnot with Sammy Hagar and all that, which they have I Can't Drive 55 on here as well. Um, it's... This is similar to what we mentioned with, with like sort of greatest hits, right? Live albums are going to be sort of like, at that point in time, these are typically the band's biggest songs or most popular songs at the time. At least a good chunk of them will be. And this is the same way. This is too. But at the same time, it's like, I'm not really into Van Halen all yeah, that much. And I don't remember. Is there like crowd interaction? There is crowd this? interaction okay. in this. Okay. Yeah. Like this, I know we, were, we had playing while we were doing other things and like it was kind of in the background or whatever. But um it's definitely not my type of music. It's more rocky than like yeah. metal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but yeah, definitely not my cup of tea. The inside's really cool though. I never even noticed that. Yeah, like, with I all the crowd photos of yeah, it and I haven't everything. At this, yeah, uh, and and, and picks, like all their and picks and ticket stubs and all that. Yeah, and yeah news that's clippings. Really cool. Yeah. Um, it's it's cool packaging. It's cool stuff. The vinyl itself is this red translucent as well. Um. I, I do like this better than the Ramones, honestly. Um, oh, I do. I, th- I remember listening to this, and Ramones I don't really remember listening um, to. I think it was more of a passive thing. But again, this is another one like, eh, we didn't need to get it. If they didn't have it, I wouldn't be upset by any means. Yeah. And then the last one we picked up. Um, Which was last on our list to pick up. <laughs> it was, yeah. Because like, there was a few that they didn't have um, that were like on the list that they didn't have at this location. Yeah, uh, Trent Let- Reznor was not on the list. Or it was on the list, but they didn't have it at this location. Uh, the Bra Humbug, the um, Christmas album, which was uh, New Orleans like jazz band yeah, playing jazz it, bands, which yeah. would have been fucking awesome, yeah. I think. Um, and then there was one jazz other Sabbath. one. Oh, Jazz Sabbath. Yeah, I've been always wanting to get Jazz Sabbath, but this location never has any of the Jazz Sabbaths, which really fucking sucks. Um, it's like the third or fourth time they've done Jazz Sabbath for Black Friday, and yeah. just, this location doesn't get it. I don't I know wonder- why. Maybe, gosh, I was going to say, like, if we go to the Logan Square one on Black Friday sometime, because I feel, I feel like they get the most of them. Oh, I'm sure they do, yeah. Uh, but anyway, back to this one, Lacuna Coil, the EPs. This is Lacuna Coil EP and then uh, Half-Life EP. I kind of enjoyed this one a bit, actually. This is probably the second favorite next to Sun-O that we picked up that I like. Uh, the vinyl's really cool, this sort of pink and red. Yeah, the vinyl's cool. Sort of pressing to it. Remind me of a flower, which on the front is a flower. Yeah, so. I think that's the whole point. Yeah. The the first side, side A, the first EP, I didn't like as much. You can definitely, I think that came out like 1998 or something oh, like okay. that. So you can definitely tell this is like their early stuff when they're starting to find their sound, find out who they are and what they sound like. And you can pick up some of that as you listen to it. Um, I enjoyed it, but it wasn't like, this is good Lacuna Coil. This is just Lacuna Coil. Like, it's not my favorite stuff they've done. Um then you get to their second side, Half Life. I enjoyed that so much better. I think that one came out two years later, in like two thousand or something oh, okay. like that. I enjoyed that sound so much better. They had sort of progressed a little bit in their sound. You can definitely tell. Uh, but I did enjoy the B side of this a lot better than the A side. Uh, but I'm glad we picked this one up. Lacuna Coil has been on the list or on Record Store Day list several times in yeah, the past year. Yeah, and we've always cut them because yeah, budget wise. <laughs> budget wise, right? So. 
this time we didn't. We just picked that up and and cool, we're good yeah. to go. Yeah. Um, a couple other cool little freebies that we got as well. There was a uh, Motley Crew pick that they had for free. They had a Motley Crew um, paper bag for like records when you buy your records. Oh, you put them that's in those. Cool. I didn't pick that up. Yeah. I don't know what the fuck we we're gonna do with it. Yeah. Uh, but because we have a record store bag that we use. We do like a canvas one that we picked up once. Yeah. Um, and the other thing they had that I did grab was a giant movie size style poster um, for Motler Crew and the Doctor Feel Good sort of deluxe box set thing they had. Yeah. They had a lot of those posters, a lot of those bags, a lot of the picks, but no copies of the box set, which was on the thing I want. Was one of the things I wanted to get, but they didn't have any copies of it. So that was yeah. A I don't know if you let me- mentioned that in the in the list of things that we didn't get, but Motley Crew was on there. It was, yeah, I don't know if I mentioned that as well, yeah. but that was definitely on there, um, and they just didn't have it. So before going in, they handed the list out of, like, here's what we have, here's what we don't have, and X means we don't have it, and Motley Crue was not on there at all, so I was like, oh, oh. this location doesn't have that yeah. box set. So if you would have gotten the box set, though, would you have cut, like, Lacuna Coil and, like, Ramones, or? I probably would have kept it based on what they all have here. I just handed him my phone with my oh, list okay. on it and said, go grab everything. And oh, he okay. went back and grabbed everything, and then he came back and like, hey, we don't have X, Y, Z. We had these. I'm like, oh, that's cool. I'll take that. After listening to them especially, yeah, I'd cut the Ramones for sure, um, and possibly even um, uh, Van, Halen? Van Halen. I would potentially say only by Sun O, <laughs> which is yeah. horrible to say. But yeah, especially after listening to them. I don't think I'd pick up Lamb of God, honestly, uh, yeah. after yeah, listening to it. Because we had the album. Right. Do we have two of them? No, we just had the one. Okay, the just 20th one. that came out earlier this okay. year. Okay. So, but I mean, yeah, I don't I don't know. It, it didn't seem like a live album to me. No, and I wanted it to have that live album feel, especially being back home in Richmond. Yeah. Like, I wanted, like, you have to imagine that crowd fucking went insane to be, you know, the hometown boys coming here and playing, like, one of their best albums, possibly their best album. Uh, definitely their most successful album live in its entirety. Yeah. Pro- I think for the first time, maybe. I don't I, know. I think it was the first time because then the boat would have been the second time. Yeah. So, like, and then the whole tour, like, this album means a lot to the band, obviously. It means a lot to the fans, obviously. So, I was super excited for that. I really wanted the crowd sort of sound to it, but we didn't get that. And it was very frustrating that, that this mix of it had, you know, was missing all of that, especially yeah. the crowd interaction from Randy. Right. Yeah. So, yeah. It just it doesn't have that live feel to it. No, it almost seems like they just recorded it off of the instruments and off of yeah. the mics. Yeah. And sometimes I hate live recordings because the crowd is too loud. Like it's one <laughs> of those things you have to find that right balance for yeah. me personally. Uh, and this one just had no crowd, and therefore it's like mm, I don't like this. You can have yeah. too much crowd or no crowd, but it needs to have find that sweet spot in the middle. I think. Yeah. Especially without the crowd banter, like that was just meh. It's like listening to the album, and I don't know. So yeah, possibly Sunno and. Honestly, Lacuna Coil. I did like the Lacuna okay. Coil a bit. Okay. Um, in any case, that is what we picked up this year for Black Friday and Record Store Day. Um, exploring some music, finding some things we don't like, but you know what? That's part of the exploration process. So uh, go out there, listen to music, however you like to listen to it, streaming, vinyl, CD, cassette, live. Um, just go out there and listen to music and enjoy it and talk to other people about it. So yeah, um, in any case, we'll, we'll see you around. Bye. Bye.